What's up guys, welcome back to Training Reviews. So this is another tutorial for those that are starting out with Final Cut Pro and are very much new to the editing game in Final Cut Pro X. So today I'm gonna to be covering six categories on audio. So if you wanna get the best audio and try to play around with all of the different basic functionalities that the Final Cut Pro can do for your audio files, then this is the perfect tutorial for you. So have a look at some of the categories I'm gonna be covering in this tutorial. It's covering all about how to detach the audio from your actual video clips, how to adjust the volume, how to add and remove fades into your audio files, how to lay out multiple audio files, have a difference comparison between absolute and relative audio, and then finally keyframing your audio files to showcase different volume levels throughout one audio clip. So this is aimed at those that are very much beginners and are new to the Final Cut Pro space and you just wanna focus a little bit more about how to get the perfect sound, music, audio, everything to do with all of your clips and movies that you're making. So let's just dive straight into it. All right guys, so I've created a new event and a new project. It's called Coffee Shop and I have a few clips here and an audio file. So what I'm gonna do is just add a couple of these into the timeline. So let me just expand this out so you guys can see a little bit more of the audio and make it a bit bigger and stretch it out a little bit. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is how to detach the audio from these video clips on it to its separate layer. So all you have to do, right click and then hit detach audio. The shortcut is Control, Shift, and S. There you go. And you can select multiple ones and then also do that. So I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut and they have separate audio files. So very simple, it's easy to play around with layers. If you wanna have multiple audio files in um, different locations, then you can also do that from here. So the next thing I'm going to show is how to adjust the volume. So you can see this horizontal line here. Now, if you just drag this up and down, you can see the decibels going up and down like this. Plus 12 is the highest you can get, and then you can go down to infinity to just mute the audio file there. Now, if you wanted to adjust this manually, you just select that audio clip there, and then on the top right hand filter panel, you can just adjust it here. So if you know that you wanted to have it as five decibels, hit five and enter, or you can just drag the slider yourself manually and go to the closest decibel point, or just uh, drag this up and down like so. So there's various ways you can adjust the volume. Now, if you wanted to adjust the volume on multiple clips, then you just select them all, go into the decibel field there in the filter settings on the top right, and then hit five. And as you can see, all of them have now been adjusted to that level. The next thing I want to show is fade handles. Now, when you hover over an audio clip, if you want to fade the audio in rather than starting abruptly where it might be too loud, then there's a little thing here just above the audio line. So if I just zoom in there slightly, you can see if you hover over, it will turn into the left and right arrows. So this gives you a fade audio in. All you have to do is drag this to however length you'd like it to fade in and then drop it there. Likewise, for that same clip, you can also do the opposite and fade out. So if you do this, the audio, depending on how loud it is, will slowly fade out to zero, which will be muted. So a lot of benefit for doing this, especially if you're trying to fade some music in or if you want to just fade the audio of a particular video so that it doesn't cover an abrupt change of audio when you're transitioning between multiple clips, then you can do that from this. Now, a quick way to remove the fades is basically to go on to modify, adjust the volume, and then remove fades. So just make sure that audio file is selected and then you'll be able to do that. Another thing is if you go to adjust volume whilst having a audio clip selected, you can also apply fades from here. So you can do toggle fade in, and then toggle fade out. So if you hover over that, now you can see it's done it for about half a second. So it's not the biggest fade in, but you can also adjust that yourself. Now, if you wanted to have both the audio fades in yourself, then if you do apply fades, it will do in and out together at about half a second. So it's uh, not a lot, but then you can just use that to adjust it accordingly. So you can play around with fades and remove fades from here. And it's absolutely very useful, especially when you're transitioning in some other mute background music. The next thing I wanted to show is layering audio files. So you've detached all of these audio files from its videos, but then you want to add another music layer underneath. So all you have to do is grab another music file and drag it underneath. And there you have 
two separate layers. Now there's no limits, you can pretty much add as many audio layers as you want, but of course the sound will be very mixed together and it won't sound great, so you'll have to adjust that accordingly. So as you can see, this is pretty loud. You can see by the little uh, mixture lines here on the audio file itself. Now I'm just gonna reduce that down a little bit and then bring these down a little bit lower than the actual music. Maybe about there. So now, if I play this back, you can see that there's two audio files playing on top of each other. One slightly lower and one which will be pretty loud. So let's take a look. Now if you wanted to get a bit more of the video noise, so for example on this clip, I want to get the noise of the steam while this coffee is being made. I can just make this a little bit higher and you'll be able to hear the steam noises around there and around here. So let's go ahead and see how that sounds. I never thought that I would be So not too bad, you can see there's a mixture and then you can also play around with the audio levels just to get it perfectly right. So you can add as many audio clips as you want. You can download and import sound effect files as well and add them just underneath here in the right place. So there's no really limits on how you can do that. Now the fifth thing I want to show you is about absolute versus relative audio. Now what that means is if you have different audio levels on each of these audio clips, let's say I have minus 13 there, minus 20 there, and I'll make this one plus four. Now if I want to adjust all of these to maybe I have this at the right size and I just want to decrease them by two decibels each rather than adjusting them one by one I can do a relative adjustment so if you select all of these audio files go to adjust volumes and then do relative now you'll see here there's a little purple plus icon that's appeared here now you can use your keyboard to hit either plus or minus and if you wanted to reduce it by two decibels you'd hit the minus if you wanted to increase it by a number of decibels you can just leave it as it is and then just enter the number so i want to reduce all three audio clips here by two decibels so i will hit minus on my keyboard and then hit two and press enter you'll notice that each of these decibels have dropped by two decibels now let me show you that again i'm going to go to modify adjust volume relative now what I'm going to do is hit minus and I'm going to reduce this by 5 decibels this time. Now take a look at the audio lines on this, each of them will go down by 5 decibels. There you go, that is the relative adjustment. Now having said that, if I wanted to adjust all of these to the same level, then I can do absolute adjustment. So if I go to adjust volume and then absolute, I will do maybe I want them to be minus three decibels each so i'll do minus and then three and then if you take a look at these lines as soon as i press enter all of them will be adjusted to minus three there you go that is the absolute adjustment of the volumes so a quick and easy way to get all of your audio clips to be adjusted at the same level now the final category i wanted to go through is audio keyframing now keyframing is an awesome way to adjust settings in one audio file or one video file throughout that same clip so right now i've been showing you how to adjust the volume throughout this entire volume layer so this one i've been adjusting it and it does it for the entire file now let's say i want to reduce the volume for just part of this clip and then bring it back up to normal level during that same clip rather than playing around by cutting and slicing the clips in lots of different ways you can add some keyframes now to do this you select the audio layer and on the top right hand side here, where you see volume, you hit this keyframe icon there. That will start the keyframe. And you'll notice there's a little keyframe that gets added there. Now, what I want to do is I want to reduce the volume where I can hear the steam of the coffee, which is around here and around here. So I'm going to move the keyframe a little bit closer to that and then add another keyframe here by hitting that keyframe icon there at the top. Now what I'll do is I'll bring this down and as you can see, everything has gone down with it. And then I'm going to bring it back up once the steam has made its noise. So I'll add another one here and then I'll have to move a little bit forward, add another keyframe and bring that back up. So this is at minus eight. If I select this one, 
I can go and adjust the volume to the same minus eight there. As you can see, now I've dropped the volume for a part of this audio clip. Now I want to do the same for the next part of this steam noise. So the same process, add a keyframe, move a few frames forward, go down, adjust it accordingly to when you want it to reduce, move the cursor in the timeline and add a couple more keyframes and then you can bring this back up to minus eight. There you have it. So now I've dropped the volume in two locations. Now let's see how that sounds. So it's pretty awesome. You can do this for any type of audio clips and if you wanted to have your video sound a little bit better with layering different audios into different transitions and different volumes, then this is the perfect way to do that. And again, you can do this in multiple audio clips as well. So I can do this the opposite way. If I wanted to fade this audio out, then I can just add a keyframe there and then add another one there. And then I'll just bring that last one a little bit towards the end and have that there. So it will slowly fade out, maybe from halfway, for example. Now, again, you can do this using fades, but this is a very good way to do multiple keyframing of audio levels throughout the entire audio clip. So that covers the majority of the basic audio functions that you guys can use as beginners. And if there's anything else that I'm missing or you'd like to know, especially if you're getting started with audio, then uh, drop a comment below. Otherwise, this is the perfect tutorial just to get up and running with doing all of the basic things that you can do by layering and setting up your audio files to your videos. All right, so hopefully that tutorial was useful for you guys. If there's any other questions you have around audio, then uh, do drop a comment below. Now, I have a link in the description below of the playlist of where I'll keep all of my Final Cut Pro tutorials, whether you're beginners or intermediates. This is my second tutorial, so there might not be a lot of tutorials right now, but I'm gonna be doing this weekly and I'm gonna showcase all of the fun and awesome functionalities that FCPX can do for you guys. So if there's any requests you have of any other tutorials you'd like to make, then do let me know. Otherwise, I hope you liked this video. I hope that was useful and I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.